good morning students today we will solve the problem on the calculation of overall heat transfer coefficient for a double pipe heat exchanger in last class we have calculated overall heat transfer coefficient for the parallel flow heat exchanger solution is almost same way except the calculation of lmtd for parallel and counter first we shall read the problem carefully in a double pipe counter flow heat exchanger water flows at the rate of 60 kg per minute it is heated from 60 degree centigrade to 90 degree centigrade by oil having specific heat 0.36 kJ per kg per kelvin the oil enters the heat exchanger at 200 degree centigrade and leaves at 140 degree centigrade determine the overall heat transfer coefficient assuming area of heat transfer as 2.25 meter square specific heat of water is 4.18 kilojoules per kg per kelvin so it is uh, uh, the double pipe heat exchanger double pipe heat exchanger and counter flow contact counter flow contact these are the two things so in this uh, heat exchange equipment that is double pipe heat exchanger where there is counter flow contact we need to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient then what are the uh, first you just write which one is hot fluid and which one is cold fluid hot fluid and the cold fluid okay so double pipe heat exchanger water flows at the rate of so much it is heated so cold fluid is water the fluid which is getting heated is the cold fluid that is water its temperature is increasing from 60 to 90 degrees by absorbing the heat which is lost by the hot fluid so which one is the hot fluid here by oil oil is the hot fluid water is the cold fluid like that first we need to write which one is hot fluid and which one is a cold fluid then it is very easy for us if you say m dot h suppose in the equation you are writing m dot h then immediately you can make out that it is mass flow rate of oil like that because h stands for hot mass flow rate of oil like that or m dot uh, cph that is uh, uh, or cph that is specific heat of uh, oil you can say like that or cpc specific heat of uh, water like that so first you need to uh, write which one is hot fluid and which one is a uh, cold fluid now what is the other data given uh, water flows at the rate of 60 kg per mass per time that is mass flow rate so first what is given is mass flow rate mass flow rate of water is given here water is cold fluid okay water is cold fluid so mass flow rate is indicated by m dot cold fluid is indicated by m dot c so mass flow rate of cold fluid is 60 kg per minute we shall see the units consisting or not here per minute is given uh, then we will see is it necessary uh, better uh, we will uh, uh, convert into hour because usually per hour or per second we will uh, mention it so or uh, you can write here 60 here into 60 that is 3600 kg per hour okay so this is mass flow rate of cold fluid and then uh, its temperature we will write uh, by oil having specific heat oil enters the heat exchanger at a uh, okay oil flow rate is mass flow rate is not given then what else is given it is heated from 60 to 90 degrees so entering temperature entering temperature of water which is represented by 
TCA that is 60 degrees centigrade. Then leaving temperature of water is TCB. Leaving is B. Water is cold fluid. So TCB is 90 degrees centigrade. Then by oil having specific heat, oil specific heat is given. Oil enters the heat exchanger at 200 degrees centigrade and leaves at 140 degrees centigrade. Water 60 and 90. So entering temperature. All the four temperatures are given. When all the four temperatures are given, entering temperature of oil. It is very easy to calculate LMTD. So, entering temperature of oil. T. Oil is hot fluid. So, H. Entering, we are using small a. So, TH is 200 degrees centigrade. Then, leaving temperature. Leaving temperature of oil is equal to oil is hot fluid. Leaving, we are using the uh, alphabet B, T, H, B is 140 degrees centigrade. Okay. So, all the four temperatures are of entering and uh, leaving uh, temperatures of uh, hot and cold fluids are uh, given. Next, what else data is given here? Then, up to here we, we have written all the data. Okay, here. By oil having specific heat point 36. That is specific heat of oil. Specific heat of oil. Which is represented by Cp is the specific heat. Oil is hot fluid. So CPH. Cp is the specific heat. Oil is a hot fluid. So CPH is 0 0.36 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Similarly, specific heat of water is also given. Specific heat Cp, water is cold fluid that is uh, here 4.18. Same units, kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Same units. One more piece of information is given. Heat transfer area is given. Heat transfer area. So, area of heat transfer. Area of Heat transfer A. You can use A. And you can assume this as A naught because nothing is mentioned whether this is outside based on outside surface of the inner pipe or inside surface of the uh, inner pipe. You can assume A naught. This is 2.25 meter square. Okay, so now we have written the complete data that is given in the problem. Now we shall plan how to calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient. What is the question here? Determine the overall heat transfer coefficient. U naught is equal to how much? Uh, last uh, class problems we have uh, discussed that uh, when nothing is mentioned about u naught or ui, we assume that it is uh, u naught. So the equation is q is equal to u naught a naught delta t ln. This is the equation we can uh, use. From this, u naught is equal to q by a naught delta t. So, this we can use. Now, A naught is given. All four temperatures are there. You can easily calculate delta T ln for the uh, counter flow. And uh, what is Q? Q is not given. But information to calculate Q is given. So, first Q, calculate Q. Then how to calculate Q? You can calculate Q either for hot fluid or for cold fluid. Okay. Uh, depending on the data given. Sometimes in the problem only for one fluid data, complete data will be given. So here we will check uh, mass flow rate of uh, only water is given here. 
mass flow rate of oil is not given so you can't calculate q for hot fluid here oil because uh, m dot c is available calculate q as m dot c cpc tcb minus tca we can calculate like using this you can't calculate for hot fluid because we don't know m dot h if m dot h is available then use that one as so q equations many we have q equal to m dot c cpc into tcb minus tca or m dot h cph into th a minus thb or q is equal to u naught a naught delta t ln like that all equations are there which one is required depending on the data we have we select the equation to calculate so q is equal to m dot c cpc so what is this m dot shall we substitute here uh, here 16 to 16 we wrote 3600 what is the unit uh, previous classes i taught you uh, to develop the habit of writing units below so that they can do accurately the problem then cpc is 4.18 4.18 into tcb tcb is 90 90 minus 60 so shall we write the units kg per hour into kilojoules per kg per kelvin kilojoules per kg per kelvin into kelvin okay so kg kg gets cancelled kelvin kelvin will get cancelled you will have in kilojoules per hour kilojoules per hour you know that this uh, explanation also already i gave you in the last classes we are adding we are converting to kelvin you are adding 273. Here also you are adding the 273. Plus into minus becomes minus. 273 gets cancelled. So 90 minus 60, 30. At centigrade also 30 only. Kelvin also 30 only. So what is Q here? What is Q? Q is equal to 451040. 451040. What are the units? Kilojoules per hour. Kilojoules per hour. Okay. That is Q. So now you need to calculate U naught. So u naught is equal to q y a naught delta t ln isn't it so first you need to calculate now you have a naught you have q you need to calculate delta t ln calculation of delta t ln whenever you want to calculate delta t ln first you should say which type of contact it is is it to parallel flow or a counter flow so this is a counter flow counter flow okay so counter flow shall we draw that, that two line diagram like first draw for cold fluid tca entering temperature of cold fluid and the leaving temperature of cold fluid then above that draw the hot fluid line hot fluid because it is counter when cold fluid is entering here hot fluid enters in the opposite direction opposite to each other they flow opposite to each other so this is THA opposite TCA this side THA other side so this is a THV like that you can note down now just below this you can write the temperatures 60 to 90 this is 60 degrees centigrade this is 90 degrees centigrade and THA is 
200 degree centigrade 200 degree centigrade this is 140 degree centigrade like that first you write down THA, THB, TCA, TCB note down all the temperatures and you know that delta T1 is always at the entrance and delta T2 is always at the exit okay whether parallel flow or counter flow delta T1 is always at the entrance delta T2 always at the exit because of the change of this no THA uh, that calculation will differ so delta T1 equal to here delta T1 equal to THB minus TCA THB minus TCA THB how much 140 minus 60 okay that is 80 degrees centigrade centigrade of kelvin both same again same explanation you are adding 273 and you are subtracting plus into minus minus it will become so in both centigrade or kelvin the value will not change so delta t equal to delta t2 equal to tha minus tcb minus 90 that is 110 degree centigrade or Kelvin okay now delta T ln is equal to here you can write anything delta T2 minus delta T1 by ln delta T2 by delta T1 that is 110 minus 80 by ln 110 by 80. This value is 94.2. This value is 94.2 degrees centigrade. So you got delta T ln. Actually, this is delta T ln counter because the flow is here. Counter is 94.2 degrees centigrade. Okay. So now U not equal to how much is Q? Q is 45 1440 divided by 2.25 area is 2.25 into delta T ln is 94.2 this is equal to 2129 almost nearly 2130 Nearly, I am writing 2130. What are the units? This is what? Kilojoules per hour. This unit is kilojoules per hour. And this is meter square. And this is a Kelvin. Okay? Therefore, U0 is equal to 21 is nearly. 2130 kilojoules per hour per meter square per Kelvin. This is the answer. Okay, this is how to calculate uh, overall heat transfer coefficient. Overall heat transfer coefficient uh, in case of parallel flow exchanger, in case of uh, counter flow exchanger as two different problems we solved but uh, procedure is same except the calculation of LMTD and here suppose if you want to uh, uh, express the answer in terms of watts then you can convert it to joules per second then uh, this joule per second becomes uh, watts so this is in 2000 divided by in 2000 divided by 3600 if you put you will get in watts so your answer will be in watts per meter per 
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ